back to basics. Keep it simple. This is a challenge. I think all of us are guilty of, I know I'm guilty of it. I know some of us that are a little more analytical or we're a little bit more tech savvy. I know we're guilty of it. I know those types of people are guilty of it. We're all, we all make this mistake. So I always try to remember what it was like to be new. I always try to remember what it was like when I first saw the presentation, I first got started that first day, first week, first month, first year, the first several years, where I mostly I mostly rode the struggle bus. How many of us know what I'm talking about? And <laughs> let me know if you're riding the struggle bus right now. I really wanted to go from below average, average to savage. You know, I wanted to go from like being, uh, you know, a, a follower to a leader. I wanted to go from being uh, you know, someone that was just sitting in the seats taking notes to be in the person in front of the room. And actually that's not really true because I had a terrible fear of public speaking, but I wanted to make what the top producers were making. The people in front of the room, I wanted to be a top earner, a top performer. I wanted to see results in my business, but I had to focus on the basic steps in those early years. And obviously the basic steps today are a little different than what they were back in 2001 when I first got started, but it's still the same fundamentals. What I see a lot of people doing these days because there's the TikToks and the Reels and the Project Broadcast and the Shout app. And you know, there's all these different social media platforms and all these different strategies. People are totally overwhelmed and they're, they're not focused on the income producing activities. They're not focused on doing the basic steps. People are becoming lazy. They're becoming lazy marketers. They're trying to automate everything. Let me tell you something. You cannot automate mentorship. You cannot automate support. You can automate aspects of the support, but you cannot automate relationship building, follow up. You might say, well, John, I got, you know, 200 people on my project broadcast. Well, okay, first of all, the brand new person has nobody on project broadcast. They're overwhelmed by that whole conversation, unless they're like very tech savvy and you know what I mean? Like analytical maybe, but you know, I, I sign up a lot of people. I out recruit everybody within my entire organization. I out recruit everybody. Okay. There are some months where I'm number two, three, four, five, but like year to year, I've out recruited everybody on my own team and probably in my entire company outside of maybe a, a couple big influencers, right? The point is we have to keep in mind what it's like to be new. And in the beginning, you need to master the mundane. You need to focus on the basics. So here's what I'm talking about. You know, we enroll this brand new person and they're excited. Maybe they're even ignorance on fire, <laughs> right? Ignorance on fire is okay for a little while. Definitely better than knowledge on ice, you know what I'm saying? But remember what it's like to be new. You know, if someone's like, hey, you gotta be in this group, in this group, in this group, and this this, this uh, team chat, and that team chat, and you gotta download this app, and that app, and this app, and this app, and you need to know how to do this project broadcast thing. You need to know how to, you know, ATM people. You need to know how to do TikToks and Reels. You know what people tell me? They literally tell me, John, I wanna do what you're doing, but I can't do TikToks, and I can't do Reels. Now, I know that's a silly statement. Like, I know they don't have to do those things. I know they don't need to do any of those things but they think perception is reality. And I think all of us are guilty of this because of technology. You should not be teaching a brand new person about Project Broadcast. A brand new person does not need to download the Boards app the first day, the first week. They don't need to download the Shout app and get, you know, hey, here's daily, you know, prompts of what you could post on your social media. Like, you have to mentor your new person. You have to guide them, help them make that, that first post. Encourage them to go live and do a launch video, but it doesn't mean they have to do it or they can't succeed without it. And again, even if they do a launch video or they do a curiosity post or they create some conversations around the products or opportunity, they still can't sit back twiddling their thumbs waiting for people to ask them about their products. They need to be proactive. Now, you know, we can lead a horse to water. We can't make them drink, but it's so important to encourage them to reach out to some key people. And here's what I'll also tell you. Most people are not going to have success recruiting other people right out of the gate. So encourage them if they're nervous about recruiting or they don't know how to talk about the business yet, they don't have confidence in that. Encourage them to promote the products. Encourage them to reach out to people about the products. Listen, 
If you enroll someone that has a network marketing experience, they're a business owner, they've got credibility, they've got experience in business. Sure, that person might go recruit a bunch of people. I recruited 38 people my first month. That's called hashtag uncommon. <laughs> That's not normal. It really is as simple as that. We need to get people to focus on the basics in the beginning. Like I'm so I'm so grateful, which this is going to sound funny, but I'm so grateful I'm simple-minded. I always tell people when I got involved in network marketing, I saw the presentation, uh, hook, line, and sinker, take my money. I was like, let's go. I was a red apple. I was like dumb enough to do it. Yeah, some people were chirping about it being a pyramid scheme. I'm like, y'all are broke. I have no interest in listening to broke people about making money. Just like I wouldn't listen to an overweight, out of shape person about getting in shape unless they wanted to tell me what not to do. I'm sorry. Some people go, oh, that's offensive. Like, okay, well, listen, it's not about the broke person or the overweight person. It's just that like I have certain goals and I'm going to listen to someone that has the results I want. So if you're broke, I don't need your opinion about money. If you're out of shape, overweight, unhealthy, look, it doesn't matter what you look like. It matters that you're unhealthy. I'm not going to listen to you when it comes to diet and exercise. So it's the same exact thing. When, when someone is getting started in this business, if they are brand new and they're excited about the potential, but they're nervous and they're overwhelmed, there's all these groups and group chats and there's all these like tools and all that stuff is great later. You understand? I get people like, I don't know how to do TikTok and Reels. I'm like, who said you gotta do TikToks and Reels? TikTok and Reels didn't even exist a few years ago. It wasn't even a thing, it wasn't even a thing. And we were crushing it. Without TikToks and Reels, we were crushing it way before short form, video, short form video was a thing. But the problem is they see us doing these things. People see me doing live videos. They're like, I can't do live videos. To be clear, you don't need to do live videos, but compare-itis is the thief of joy. I have been doing this for 21 years. I feel selfish not telling people about these products. I feel selfish not telling people about this opportunity or about this profession, because I know a lot of you are in different companies. I feel selfish not sharing my stories and my insights and my lessons and my tips. So I show up accordingly. But I think it's so important for a lot of us to help that new person just get a win, get up their first post, reach out to their first five people using the script. And by the way, most people are not gonna memorize the script, but you can give them some pointers, some bullet points. You can tell them to print off the script, but like, and let me say this too. How many of you are like, I just want to find some people like me. I just want to find some people like me. I get it. But listen, leaders are not easy to come by. The best recruits I've recruited, the best leaders I've recruited were not easy recruits. It took a lot of follow-up. It took a lot of nurturing the relationship, answering their questions, staying in touch, all the things and not pressuring them. That's just a part of it. But if you're like, oh my gosh, I really wish I had some good people on my team. My people aren't doing anything. Maybe reach out and ask them. What are your goals getting started? Was it that you were just overwhelmed before? Or do you feel overwhelmed right now? What is it that you're struggling with? Because if they just get back to basics and they just get into people's inboxes, right? They just reach out to 10 people a day. See if they're open to the products and getting added to a group and watching a video or checking out a testimonial. Like if they would just be open to being a part of a community, being a part of a group, being part of something that you're doing, something you're excited about, tell them why you're excited. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. We've all heard this a million times, but also people they relate to. People don't relate to the ingredients. They don't relate to the compensation plan, right? They don't relate to those things. People relate to people. What do I mean? You need to tell them why you're doing it. I found something that is going to give me time and money, and I'm so excited because not only can I build this around my part-time you know, around my job on a part-time basis. Not only can I build this around my busy schedule, but I have someone mentoring me, helping me, guiding me along the way. And I just wanted to see if you would be open to taking a look at it because, and then just compliment them. Tell them why you thought of them. Tell them why you're reaching out to them. Customize your conversation. See, I would rather you customize a conversation to five, 10 people a day than to mass spam 50 people a day. Like I know people have sent out 50 messages a day. 50 messages a day. It just, it's like machine gun style, like copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. I'm sorry, but the reason people aren't responding to you because they don't feel like you're actually talking to them or you're actually listening to them or you actually care about them. You're not 
asking questions, you're not complimenting, connecting, you're, you're, you're not having a, an authentic conversation with them. And I think that's also a missing piece of the puzzle, right? Because why is it that some people join and they immediately get customers, they immediately see, see success? It's because they're honest. They're honest and they're real. In fact, I did an interview last week with three of the top enrollers on our team, three of the top recruiters, and all of them are very excited. They have great energy, great passion, but you can tell like they genuinely care about the people that they're reaching out to. They care about their customers. They care about their, their teammates, the people they're talking to about the business. Like this is such an important thing for us to teach that new person instead of overwhelming them with all the tools and the scripts and all the things. And that stuff is relevant to some people. Like some people want to know all the things before they do anything, right? They're like super analytical, but some people it's like, you gotta just give them little baby steps, little like steps every day to give them that encouragement and direction. Because here's the thing, you wouldn't need to recruit so many people if you help the ones that are already on the team. Now, again, you could lead a horse to water, you can't make them drink, but having them join seven different groups, having them go through hours of training, having them download seven different apps. It's just like, of course, people are overwhelmed. Of course, people are quitting. Of course, people feel like they're lost or they're behind because they feel like they need to keep up with everything. They need to know everything. They don't need to know everything. They don't need to have project broadcast. They, yes. Now, if they got like 100 customers, okay, that's different. But if they got two customers and the first rank advancement is five customers, they don't need project broadcasts. They don't need TikTok and Reels. They need to find three humans that want to be skinnier. <laughs> they need to find three humans that would want to use their product. Three humans that say, hey, I want to look younger, feel better, lose weight, feel great, drink a healthy energy drink or whatever your products are, right? I'm very like thinking about my company and our products and our liquid collagen and our premium skincare and some of the different things we offer. But at the end of the day, like they don't need to have all the tools, all the bells and whistles yet. They don't need to do the advanced strategies and try to go viral. Listen, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. You see a lot of people just becoming like these lazy marketers where it's just like spam, 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 spam. And maybe back in the, the 2020, 2021 timeframe, like that was how you went viral. You don't need to go viral to build a business. Did I have a little run there? Did Nadia and I go hard for a minute there with TikTok? Yeah, because we saw it as an opportunity. But I remember saying this in the very beginning. The thing I worried about with TikTok and with short form videos was people would get used to posting in that manner. They would get used to the attention, the views, the, the virality. It's all good. But again, the average part time stay at home mom or school teacher or nurse or busy business owner, they're gonna see that stuff and go, I can't do that. They're gonna see that stuff and go, I don't want to do that. So again, we're like, hey, you don't need to do that stuff. Maybe down the road, you wanna do that stuff. Maybe down the road, you wanna branch out and you know build a following, build an audience. But in the beginning, focus on the basic steps. Here's what I do. I create conversations, I create curiosity. When I find people that say, yeah, I'm open. Yeah, sure, I'll check out a 12 minute video. I add them to the product groups so and learn about the products. I add them to the business group tag them in a 12 minute video in the welcome post in the freaking group. And then I say, tomorrow when I follow up with you, I'm gonna introduce you to some other leaders on the team. That's it. And if you're doing that three, four, five times a day, over the course of a month, you are going to see results. You are going to make money. You're planting seeds, you're exposing people to the information. Some are gonna join right away. Some are gonna join after three, four, five, six, seven follow-ups. Remember the fortunes in the follow-up, most people do not join after one or two or five conversations, right? They don't want to get their hopes up. They don't want to waste their money. Who knows what the reason is, but you just know your goal is to not treat people like a number. You don't want to have commission breath because it stinks, but it is a numbers game. It's going to take time. You're not going to sign up every single person you talk to within a minute, within a week, within a year even. Some of the best people I recruited followed me for months. They followed me for years before they reached out. We maybe had one or two conversations or we never spoke at all before they reached out to me. So you gotta play the long game, okay? You gotta think differently about your business. You gotta think differently about how you're onboarding new people. And I think there's so many people that get so caught up in all the tools, the latest and greatest strategies. They get so caught up in all the things and that's good. That's great for you, but not that brand new person.